guys welcome to a brand new episode of the bat wave and this is my second upload today but i'm loving like how this is all going so just bear with me um so this is a review about the la la land and it's one of the greatest like you know i guess like romances i've seen recently um you know it was really good well played it was really good jazz music in, in the movie it was just a lot of different types of themes going on starting from like the starting of the movie to like you know just things in general and i just like to really add like the fact that you know la la land is one of those things like it's good for you but also you know you can't you can't just like watch it and feel bored because it's just so many different music you know just things happening in the background i watched it in imax with me, my girlfriend and the thing is like we heard everything just going on and off like in from the speakers from you know the headlights to like the honking to different types of music different types of people the color scheme just the sketch of everything was great the feel and the vibrant like you know colors just made like the movie really upbeat great and you know just it was just amazing just to hear Everything that was just happening in the movie, but it was also like, you know, something that I really like, liked over time. So one of the things I really liked about La La Land was it had a lot of different people, a lot of different sets going on at once. And it was just a great movie in the sense that like, it was about two lovers who met. One was Mia, an aspiring actress and a guy named, and another guy named Sebastian. And the scene took place in the location of los angeles and they just wanted their dreams to come true and you know work out on a really long time and committed relationship but eventually the two lovers i feel that you know their love was really strong but also you know they both had different quirks and things that kind of went into play with each other and i just really liked how the movie played out like there's different depths of colors again there's different um again so this is a review right so what what i really liked about this movie was it had different you know just women just dressing really classy and it was just really good in the sense that it made me feel like like you know just want to going out in the world and just dating and like you know really just pursuing that dream that i really want to live so it was really inspiring in the sense that like also it pertained to life you know ambitions dreams and also like you know having the woman of your dreams at the end of the day right but this is a romance, so not, and also it's kind of like Romeo and Juliet. It's not like a full, you know, romance. There's things in the way where, you know, it's a little bit hazy. But I like how, like, the girl and the guy in the end, they see each other, but also they see, like, they're living two different lives. And the girl sees, like, how she could have lived with the man that she fell in love with in the beginning to the man that she was married to at the end of the movie. So it's just really cool to see flashbacks of how their lives be like were and how it became towards the end of the movie. It went through a, a fundamental and like you know just significant amount of timelines that really you know matured two people, two lovers, and you know it was just crazy to see like how they've changed. It was amazing to see their dynamic and how well they got along, but also how time came into play and it kind of brought them more or less apart. And I just loved how, like, the piano was very incorporated, the music was incorporated, and just, like, you know, just making a person feel like they're alive was part of this movie. It came into different types of, you know, just dancing, just just outside of the, like, you know, just when two people are alone, they feel like this passion, this, like, love, this inspiration to just be, like, you know, dynamically, like, really intertwined. So just like it just seemed like, you know, they had it perfect. They had it all. But as you know, like a relationship doesn't just seem perfect. They also also has its in and outs. And I think the real way to kind of start a strong relationship is to maybe watch this movie. But um, also to kind of just understand, see from the other person's point of view before it's too late. And uh, I just really like this movie. And I kind of just told my girlfriend then like later on, like I understood what happened. And, um, you know, she didn't believe me at first, but it was pretty cool to see because I kind of like told her the story and she was like surprised. Like I picked up all these different things, like throughout the details, throughout the little details in the movie. So 
I really like like the dancing in this movie, the classiness, the jazz, the pianos, you know, the or the chorus in the background, and how two people met and they separated and they still like met uh, met with each other at the end. But there was no hate; it was just love, and it was also respect and loyalty. But um, it was a really good romance film, and I think I learned a lot from it, and it teaches you good, you know, good valuable life lessons. So it's pretty good. You know, the actors did great, like, you know, so I gotta admit, like, the actors had it well, like, him especially, he, he did great as, like, the guy Sebastian, and, you know, just, like, him in this, like, old, you know, just retro car was kind of cool, too, because this is actually one of my favorite scenes, how, like, this guy and the girl met, and the, obviously the actor, you know, he's Sebastian, and the girl is, it's Emma Stone, who is Mia, right, so I just love how they, like, got together and they met and also you know just like the like the the feelings in the background so good same with the colors and just the co color coordination and you know just everything just coming together was really cool to see and it did give you a good glimpse and broad view of Los Angeles and how the people are there and how there's always aspiring talent and people's dreams can come true but it takes a series number of years and dedication and hard work to get there it doesn't come easy and yeah it does teach you that as long as you work hard you can get something right in the end and even if you don't get the girl that you love you still get your career and you also get a really good friend out of it so that's just something really interesting that you got came to, that you have to come to terms with but also it doesn't hurt to have the girl as well so this is my review of the la la land and it was great to see it was very classy and I just liked how everything's, everything played out in the movie. And aside from that, um, have a good day, guys. This is uh, my review for this movie. And hope you guys had a good day. Check out my other videos on my channel. I have channel. I have other movie reviews such as The Ring. Um, you know, this other one. I'm trying to work on Split right now as well. But if you guys have anything else for me, if you have any other questions, let me know. And thanks for everything. And this is The Bat Wave. And this is... Me out. Peace out, guys.